<laughs> I remember reading that actually. It was like a big old story. That's right. Yeah. I, I invented, you know, at that age, what you write is so derivative of what you do. So I first wrote a bunch of short stories uh, called Songers on the Tree, which was about, um, I, thought, I thought there were novels actually to do short stories, which were like, you know, uh, the Indian Bison and Five Hand Out, as you can say, and so on. Except these were Indian kids and they were going off to a Kerala village and solving the streets. Uh, I used to go off to Kerala village with my parents every year. Didn't get to solve any mysteries, but uh, that was uh, but that no one wanted to publish. And I used to love the big old books, you know, these World War adventures and so on. So I invented an Anglo Indian fighter pilot called Bellows. Yes, I remember that. Like, and he, he, he went off and won the boss in the for the Allies. But anyway, and, and that was serialized over six installments in what was then called the Junior Stage. Which I read, and I had no idea that the guy who wrote this was 11 years old. Except that J.S. used to have a section called Genius or Fabler Under 20, in which they used to have all these young teenagers with the set with the future of it. And there's a picture of this giant, and it says Shashi too, he's much under 20, he's only 11. Which is what I remember for a while. Okay, so let's talk a bit about Shashi Thiru and the Man. I mean, if you've read the book, and I'm assuming that those of you who haven't read it will buy a copy and give Shashi to sign it after the session. Many things come through. One of them is that you started out as a writer and you've never stopped writing. Is that fair? That's fair to say, because you know, the thing is that uh, uh, I wrote almost compulsively, I was an asthmatic child, yeah. in an India or a Bombay in those days without <laughs> television, without. No one had mobile phones right. or Nintendo and desktop computers. So all I had was books, and I ran other books pretty quickly because I was the eldest child of the family. Uh, books I borrowed from the library, I finished in the car on the way home. It was kind of a challenge, and there was really so much book cricket you could play before even that began to play out. So I ended up uh, writing as much to divert myself as, as to sort of survive. And you're sitting there gasping for breath with asthma attacks, unable to sleep. Unable to even lie flat. This is as good a way of spending your time as any. So I read and then I wrote more or less about the ways in which I used to read. And, and um, from that, I think, came uh, the writing. Because my father was generous enough to encourage this. Instead of dismissing these crawlings as pointless, he got a secretary to type them up so suddenly they could be shared with friends and circulated and passed around. And people were kind of encouraging. In fact, my first story was published even earlier than uh, the Julius Station one. It was a short story uh, that the Free Press Journal in Bombay in those days had a Sunday paper called the Bharat Journal. Yes. And they used to carry short stories. And I wrote a short story, again, probably inspired by Stephen Crane or whatever, the American Civil War. And, um, and totally cliche that there's this father and son on opposite sides of the American Civil War, and the father kills the son. Very morbid. 